So again, I want to jump in and point out a couple of differences of what you would need to do if you were drawing a sketch and performing calculations that the narrator just completed for the possum example for the uh, case of the head length being 98 millimeters. First of all, note that for the sketch, you would draw your vertical line so that it goes above the curve and down below the z-axis when you draw the sketch. Then you would need to label the variable value that we were calculating a z-score value for at the top of the vertical line and the calculated z-score value below the vertical line near the z-axis. Um, the narrator hasn't mentioned yet that what has just been calculated is a z-score, but I'm letting you know now that that's what he has just completed. Lastly, note that the calculation for the number of standard deviations away from the mean of 92.6 millimeters that a head length of 98 millimeters corresponds to is, as I've already mentioned, called a z-score. And I've shown the calculations and the formula, which the narrator will present a little bit later on in his presentation. And notice that the z-score corresponds to a value of one and a half standard deviations that the variable value is above the mean value.